Everyone. Welcome to Carry On Streaming. I'm your host, it is Charlie's London, and I am joined by Stencil Artist Jan, who is obviously always uh, the co hostess with the mostest. Um, who have we got in the chat today? We've got uh, Matt G with some tacos. So, hello, Matt G, how are you doing? Uh, and hello, hello to you two. Um, my, my co host, who needs uh, no further introduction. He, he's spreading his communist disease to the masses, and sadly in Comicsgate, there is no uh, vaccine for this yet. <laughs> it is. <laughs> su surprisingly good joke. The uh, common mark variant like, uh, coming soon. Like uh, Anyone who's got a copy of Not Daredevil, expect uh, some infection with your uh, hilarious... Well, you might I was trying to think of something that rhymed then, but... I can go, I've got it. I've got it. You want to spread infection, but you drew penises and erection. Hey. That's so much. See? Um, See? Hello, Charlie, Jan. Uh, hello. How, how you doing? Good week so far? Yes. yes. Yeah, bloody hot. It's horrible. Like, uh, look how it's sunburnt my face is. Like, uh, you look whatever. like... You look like you're blushing, like you're uh, no. like a... <laughs> Yeah, I'm just embarrassed. Like uh... yeah. he's not really that red. It's because he's been working at that Soviet flag distribution center again. It's all the red dye rubbing off on him. That's what it no, is. It, it's the safety goggles that they make me wear, and it <laughs> like, uh, but it does make oh. me look like a super villain, which is cool. Uh, like Loki, he's a super villain. Uh, so who who else like do we have like uh, in the back room with us this evening? Well, someone Surprise that doesn't me. like someone that doesn't like to be at the back, although he is the pigeon of love. It's love pigeon. Hey, front did you back, see what I did? around. <laughs> I can love you anywhere. <laughs> Hello. Hashtag, hashtag reach around. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Don't reach around for this, Wooly. Um, <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go along. I'm are, are we feeling mischievous tonight? Is that what it is? No, 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 no. Uh, um, well, you're, yeah. on, you're only as mischievous as the Wooly you feel, aren't you, Wooly? Wow. Really? <laughs> <laughs> can't he argue with that. No, exactly. Um, and of course, you know, no big woolly is, is a big woolly style is ever secure without a chub. So, hello, <laughs> hello, hello, hello. How you guys? I don't know what's going on with the penis tonight, do you? Welcome to hello. Innuendo Kitchen. <laughs> hello, hello, Chad, darling, London. Yeah. Brought to you by Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Well, one hole that doesn't need any lube. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Why have double entendres when you can just go straight for the single? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm on anymore. Let's pop back over to the chat and say hello. So Stato's here. Evening, CG UK. Evening, Stato Bird. How are you doing? Um, not my monkey, not my circus. He's here with how do all. So how do to you? Yeah, hey, monkey. Um, Shadowhawk Hello. is here. Hello, Shadowhawk. How are you? Hope you are good. Um, and our very dear friend Jay Money is here. Uh, Jan's new comp. You've got a new, have you got a new computer yet? Have you? Um, oh, yeah, you must have heard that thing. The valves run out of memory. I know. I know. Well, there you go. Um, and of course, Shadowhawk has also said hello, CG UK. Um, hello. Right, we, oh, Chubby's. Why did it look like Chubby disappeared anyway? 
Um, you close your eyes and you've got everyone <laughs> wrong. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Past Master Dan is here. Hello, Past Master Dan. Uh, welcome to the show. Right, so um, we are here today. We thought a great way of streaming, uh, a great show to stream tonight would be obviously Loki because the the Disney series Loki did stream, uh, what, it premiered, I think, at midnight last night, American time, didn't it? Um, yeah, and well, so, some some of some of us have seen it, and some yeah. of us haven't. Uh, so we're not gonna like do any like spoilery talking or whatever. No, like, uh, I don't want to ruin it for anyone. Uh, but if you're in the chat and you've watched it, like, uh, give us a one. And if spoil you haven't it. watched it, give us a two. Like, don't spoil it. In fact, make up <laughs> hilarious spoilers, like uh, unrealistic things. We'll look it was good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, just... I haven't. I, I will watch it um, because I actually really like uh, Tom Hiddleston as Loki. So I am going to watch it to see um, exactly what's going on. Uh, it was good. It was actually yeah, good. I I really liked it, but uh, I really liked Loki, so most I of those gonna... things on it. Not most of them. I really liked uh, One Division. I thought it was actually great. Uh, this is more like that than. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Which this, is this is like Lenny. one division, but better written. Ooh. Uh -oh, yeah. Spicy what a compliment. News. Spicy take. Yeah, but Tom Hiddleston's not quite as sexy as Elizabeth, as Elizabeth Olsen. Oh, uh, I, I don't agree with that. He's my he's my pick for the next Bond. Elizabeth Olsen Maybe. was mean. <laughs> what bondage? Scarlet uh, Bond. Why not? Well, do you know what? <laughs> they I should make a. They should uh, make my other girl Daisy Ridley James Bond. Like uh, people would lose their fucking minds, wouldn't they? Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> just saying. Um, no, I, I. Tom Tom Hiddleston's an interesting one because he's. Well, what what people may not think he's incredibly good looking. He's very charismatic and he's got that voice. And I think, I think he'd be a good Bond. Like, I'm not being funny, but there's no way in hell you'd get me in bed with Daniel Craig unless Rohit Nor was involved. So as far as I'm concerned... <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Craig is getting over Rohit Nor right now. <laughs> He's done in boots. We can neither confirm nor deny that he uses Rohit Nor. I just no. want to make that clear. <laughs> now then, now then. Him that. I, um, I'd, so, I'd probably look at Evans. I think Luke Evans would be a good Bond, seriously. It's about time you had another Welsh Bond. Yes. Do you know who actually would probably be a very good Bond, though, is the guy that played, is it Aidan Turner, who played Poldark? He was in that vampire world. You, do, you just well. you just want to see dudes with no shirts yeah, on Yeah, he's a bit pointsy, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. Okay, a bit pointsy. Another one from my circus has said that Tom Hiddleston is too skinny for Bond. Yeah, that's been the general... Consensus, I think, isn't it, that he's too skinny for Bond? Um, I have two Tom Hiddleston stories, but I will save them till later. So, um, no, they involve Rick Hitler. They do not involve. <laughs> <laughs> the she can't remember if they involve Rick Hitler. Yeah, exactly. He he would looking not, you. Listen, he would not <laughs> have to drug me. That's all I'm saying. Woof, woof! I wish you told him that sooner before he drugged you. We're going off topic here. Yeah, Maybe yeah, let's, yeah. Maybe we better not go there. Um, right. Chill it. So. <laughs> so. As always, we get to the new segment of the show. Um, Mary Boys, Beefheads, the mailing list is now back up. Chubb, do you want to talk us through this quickly? Yeah, for everybody who doesn't know and hasn't signed up yet, um, Mary, the new Mary Boys volume is coming out while well, the campaign is starting soon. Um, it's going to be a 72, well, 72 pages of, of pure comic books um, with short stories of the Mary Boys' further adventures, color covers, um, a lot of fun uh, all around, just like the previous, just like the previous volume. If you sign up to the mailing list, you get a you get a free card with your order. And that's exclusive, so it's worth doing. So get yourselves there and uh, support independent comic books. Fantastic. Yeah. That's all I have. 
<laughs> yeah. I, I, I smashed the I system. About that. <laughs> carry on. It's getting carried on. Well done, Chub. Well done. Yeah. So, um, brings us on fantastically to our next one. Woolly, do you want to talk about your mailing list that is um, live soon? The yeah. Hey. Tales of Mystery and Imagination, or the Tati Bogoman's Tales of Mystery and Imagination. And uh, yeah, this is an anthology. It's practically ready to go. Uh, strips that have been remastered that were in the original anthology that I did a few years back. And uh, it's pretty much a case of like, there's going to go live on the 27th of July on my channel. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. It's just like my name. Wally at Terrier Comics, and it's going live then, and it's going to be shipping uh, for Halloween, so everybody will get it by Halloween. Uh, so yeah, so I've actually this one's pretty much done and dusted and ready to go. So uh, if you like Hammer movies or old EC comics, uh, if you like uh, a little bit of kind of camp and a little bit of disturbing stuff at the same time it's got it all it's a little bit of something for everybody kind of like the old heavy metal comics as well it's like it, it kind of veers off into different kinds of stories uh, and it has a taddy bogo man and it's going to it's going to come in like hardback and soft cover versions and it's a uh, it's going to be a sexy beast so you don't want to miss out so please sign up for it fantastic well done woolly can't wait for that one. So, um, not a mailing list this time, or a campaign. Um, it's something that dear old stencil artist Jan and People Circus are going to talk about. So, I'll throw it over to um, throw it over to you guys. Right. So, Jan, talk about what's going on. Hello, it's stencil artist Jan and my co-host People Circus. We've created videos, videos of fun facts. Um, on our second one, part two, midweek facts, is on at midnight GMT, which is 7 p.m. EST. Uh, it's a shorter show because it's only a midweek one. Uh, we're very proud of this. We've put quite a lot of time into it, and I think it shows the quality is really good. People also just did all the graphics for it, and they really sing when you watch it. It's well worth a watch, <laughs> <laughs> and you just dislike it. Thank you very much. <laughs> and it premieres at midnight. We are constantly sabotaged, you see. Do you want to carry on talking about it a little bit more, though? No, seriously, carry on talking about it a little bit more. I'm really interested. I'm sure you are, but the show is about what you're going to do. Just move on. God, 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 God. God. Yeah, so oh, they, 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 dropped a, they, they dropped a show earlier this week uh, on a Mario, on Super mm -hmm. Mario and his brother. Uh, and it was great, like, because they're edited, the videos have a real nice pace to them. Like, it, I think it was 20 minutes, maybe, something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Uh, and it's like one of these live streams, but it's so condensed oh, without the gaps and the ums and the ahs and the let me that's can just you just stall that's just you <laughs> what are you talking about how dare yeah, you people does the editing and he's really he's got such great timing with it down he actually said he just does it from the the um scales now he's like the matrix he doesn't even need to listen anymore yeah. I, I can tell when you say um by the graphic on the uh, the volume thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to highlight um, statistical heroes point here. I think this is a really nice point for the stream, and it, I think it it really does sum us up that we do try really hard. We're a good working group, and we have all, all got each other's best interests at heart as well. Uh, there's too much talent and personality on this panel. Where's the complaints department? <laughs> this group is making others look bad. I don't know who we make look bad, but I. The one thing I'll say is that we all found each other on Twitter through just literally using 
the comments gate hashtag and RIP Captain Fuckhead helps put us together. And uh, we're still here. We've learned a lot from streaming. I mean, when we think about our first show to these yeah. ones, um, we ain't really learned yeah. football, to be fair, yeah. but we're, we're getting there. We've taken mediocrity to new heights. Yeah, and, sh and, and then yeah. thrown it down the shitter. So, yeah. One, one um, of the things one of the things that uh, never gets talked about publicly enough is that when we started this group was huge and it like we yeah. had like 16 people or something on the panel yeah, yeah. Uh, drive them all away yeah. we've killed yeah, I, most just, I just of them. sat there quietly waiting for them all to drop off <laughs> i poisoned <laughs> most of them get <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um <laughs> The news. Um, -da. so the next one we're going to share is obviously Mark talk to us about Krishna Kid coming soon. Oh, That's yeah, <laughs> Krishna Kid. Oh, my god, it's like uh, everybody knows that this is like my passion project, like it's gonna be incredible. I know that I've made stuff before and like well, it's incredible. It? <laughs> no, like uh. <laughs> Those things, uh, the, they're a little bit shit on purpose. Like it's baked <laughs> in, it's baked in, like to the matter. And everybody knew when they were buying Best Career what they were gonna get, kind of. Uh, but this is like serious, like a uh, polished it's like, good. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be a really polished turd. No, it's it's gonna be legitimately great. Like, uh, and I'm not gonna rush it, like. Uh, just sign up so you can get one when it comes out, please. Yes. Do you want to say about the uh, your new competitor? Yeah. What happened there? Oh yeah. So, uh, if there's anyone watching in the chat, that uh, if there's anyone in the chat who like watches all of my shows as well. Uh, we'll know that for the last few weeks, like, I've been having serious, like, trouble, like, streaming. It's been really laggy and unsmooth. And uh, on Friday's Russian Troll Factory, at, like, 23 minutes, I was like, you know what, fuck this. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> I, I can't work under these conditions and just ended the show in it. We was only like 15% of the way through or something. Um, Coming from someone who works at the Gulag, you got a low expectation, a low bar for <laughs> crap work. Yeah, it, it was unbearable. So what happened was, like, uh, about a month ago now, I made a video called uh, How the CIA are Infiltrating the comic book industry or something to that effect uh and then on like the next day my computer just died in it like uh and i believe you mark i believe okay. you. so thank you uh i'm not saying it was a cia it's just a coincidence i'm sure like uh i know that tom king hasn't seen it he's got me blocked from the last time that i had a Twitter fight with him. Um, Mark, and... are you telling me it's the CIA? Do you believe it's the CIA? Yes. I don't know. Yes, but I, that... do. I, I do. Actually... I think yeah. I think that Agent Mulder told you. Agent Mulder, did you tell Mark that he was blocked by the CIA? I did not. Yeah, well, he's from the <laughs> FBI and it, so he wouldn't know. Yeah. Uh, they don't <laughs> share information. Uh, you can cut. This is just the very first like step on this story. Uh, so my computer was broken. Uh, I had to buy a new one. I'd had it for about two years. That seems to be the lifetime of a laptop. Like they last about two, maybe three years, and then you have to buy another one. Uh, so I bought a new one uh, from China or something. Like I don't <laughs> know where it's from. I've never heard of this brand before. Like, but it looked nice, and they're guaranteed to deliver the next day. So I was like, yes, please, I'll have that. Uh, and then it came and it was awful. Like it was so slow. Like uh, on a stream, I couldn't even open a new tab like uh, without getting booted and all this <laughs> kind of stuff. It was a right nightmare. Uh, so then I bought another computer, like uh, even more expensive than the previous one. That this one from Russia. 
uh, yeah, somewhere. <laughs> uh, I, and it's fancy. It's got lights on it and stuff. So <laughs> probably wrong with it. Do you know what I think was probably wrong with it. I think this this probably this part was broken. The transformer. <laughs> it took me a minute there as well. Oh, if Mark no. didn't say anything, I would not know what she was on about. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the same. Um, hey, so... Piper's, Piper's here. Hey, lovely listening while working. You crack on. We're good. We're always good background noise. It means that if we're boring, you can mentally switch off. It's totally. <laughs> <laughs> I do we everything. make every mundane task even more mundane. There you go. Carry so... on, Mark. So my new computer comes, uh, and I'll set it all up. Like I've got a second monitor, you know, from when I was using my laptop. Like so, I could have two monitors. Uh, so I didn't need to buy a new monitor, like because I got one. So it comes, and I plug the new monitor into it, and it just don't work in it. And I'm like, oh my god, this computer is also broken. Uh, so the. The monitor that I've got has like a, a VGA port, an RGB port, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I tried it in the computer and it didn't work. I thought maybe the monitor broke. That's possible. So I took the computer to the TV. God, 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 God. How dare you? How dare you? Yeah. Listen. This, this is not. This is, he's like Rain Man. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Mark. You got to the. You got to the TV. Yeah, it didn't work on the TV. Either, right? <laughs> like uh, so now, like um, almost a thousand dollars down on it, and I still don't have a computer that works. <laughs> um, so then. I had to go Dollars. to my friend's house oh, to get a HDMI cable, like uh, to test in the TV again to see if it works. Uh, and it does work, which is fine and great. And like you can see, like I don't have that same lag issue that I've been having for the last month. Uh, but every time that I want to do a stream, I have to carry my giant fucking TV like uh, into this room, and it, which. Is a nightmare, but it's finally solved. So if you have been not watching yeah. my show because of the lag or whatever, like it's fixed. Look, look, look how great it is. Like it's never looked better than it does now. So that, 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 that was subscribe. worth it for worth it for the story alone. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking yeah, nightmare! <laughs> <laughs> so, are you are you are you still watching the night? A forty-inch television at the minute. Yeah, like uh, okay, and <laughs> it's just sat on my little like coffee. You, you've, you've seen my table, haven't you? Like with yeah. the uh, map on and stuff. It's just there, like uh, yeah. it's, it's ridiculous. Um, so my monkey, not my circus, wants us to know that he's had short <laughs> relationships. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a reflection on you, not me. To, to be fair, to be fair, we lost three <laughs> viewers when you. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that we could get to negative numbers. <laughs> <laughs> they, oh, they were very, very good, sir. We have to pay Google now. Yeah, we do, don't we? Um, that's actual, actually, agu lag. Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah, well, what can we say to that? It's got to be this, isn't it? Well done. Well done. Bravo. Exactly 13. right. I didn't write any of that down, Mark. Do you want to start from the beginning again? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I just clocked the look on Chubb's drawing, uh, and it's it's just pure Chubb, in it? Like... Uh, that's the, chub, the chubbiest face a I think I've ever seen. Not, I don't have a chin like that. No, I don't mean that he looks like you. I mean that <laughs> it's... You know what I mean. Not everything's a personal attack. <laughs> yeah, no. you twat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the theme of See? Piper's trying to edit a script, but she fell asleep. Because she's listening to us.
<laughs> um, just the last one because I'd like to. I've got an announcement to make as well. Um, so Charlie's London from East Lane to Lime Light. We hit a bit of a milestone this week because we um we went we got an extra ten thousand dollars from going in demand. So from the moment we went into demand to actually like today, pretty much well yesterday, we hit ten K since being in demand, which I think is an amazing milestone. Um so I want to say thank you to everybody that's actually backed it. Um, thank you for sharing it. Uh, thank you for showing all the support that you have. And um, I felt really privileged yesterday because there was some uh, SJW retard going after Ethan on Twitter. Uh, person, person, person of retardations, we have to call Yeah, that's him. the one. And uh, he actually, they were saying, well, doing the same normal crap about how there's no women in comics gay and all these things. And um, and he actually... We Yen. Yeah, exactly. We've got Yen. He he highlighted yeah. he highlighted three books, um, saying that you know we've actually got women here that are doing a good job in, in reference to Amelia Clark's weird period comic, and he said we've got three women here actually doing a really good job, and he put one of my uh, my campaign was one of the three that he highlighted. So I just would give a big shout out, say thank you to Ethan for doing that. Thanks to everyone's backed it, and that's kind of cool. So yeah. Uh, Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you very much. Very, I'm very proud of this book. Um, it's coming along lovely. Uh, board, I, board, board, <laughs> board, board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Spread the love. It's all right. Um, so the um, the pages are coming along beautifully. Um, I know that um, Ink Spots and Billy are working on. Um, fantastic uh rent like rendering and the flats and the pages and it's a it's brilliant uh so what's oh okay sorry um and uh what else have i got to say to you yeah so everything's on track i showed bits and pieces to the the chaplains this week and they absolutely love it they're loving everything they see so i'm really excited um and look jabber's just you know Wants to ruin my fun <laughs> every single time. Uh, I have, then I have a Jabba's back. I have yeah, Jabba comes as three of those people as well. As well, as <laughs> well I, I haven't no. seen Jabba for weeks, like I've legitimately yeah. missed him. Uh, yeah. And he says 13 people watching, but since Jabba's arrived, like it's gone up. Oh, it's gone back down again now. <laughs> you fixed it. <laughs> yeah, what Dale said, Jabba's here, it's all that counts. Yeah, Where's, where you been, Jabba? Alter's yeah. here with, hello, darling, so hello, sir. Yeah, so um, other than that, thanks, everyone, for supporting the campaign. Oh, wow. When I know when I know more, I will do another update, so thank you very much. Um, right, so um, the pigeon of love. What did you Don't want share to share the screen right now. Oh, wait. <clears throat> I've got a comic book called Doomsday Kingdom. Uh, so I need to go, that's all you need to know. Mark, have you got a bit ready for this show? No, I haven't done that. Damn it, well, it's like we're going first then. Damn it, you didn't give me a chance to prepare. <laughs> all right, there you go. Um, oh, do it now. Come on, share the screen. <laughs> all right, everybody, it's time to play Six Guys and One Husband. Who is it? Oh, Who knows? This is the Loki edition. <laughs> this is five crazy facts about Loki that you possibly might not know. Let's start with screen number one. Kaka, <laughs> it's me, the love blue pigeon. There's a dog in the background. It's supposed to be a pigeon. I forgot to Photoshop that bit. Never mind. And as you can see on my hand, there is five fingers or four fingers and one thumb if you want to be special needs, which is correspondent to the five facts about Loki. So... Fact number one. Crazy eyes <laughs> has nothing to do with it. I just couldn't be able to fully Photoshop myself. Anyway, behind each of these little elements, like an advent calendar, is a random fact. But as I was doing it, it didn't actually end up going the way I wanted it. So we've just done the right bodge job because that's my specialty. Fact number one. Here's Loki. Now. I've forgotten the order in which these photos are placed, so I might get the facts in the wrong order. <laughs> but number one, Loki originally had 
yep, that's right. Red hair and no connection to Thor. And then they thought, fuck that, you ginger twat. We don't want gingers. So they decided to change him to have black hair and then made him Thor's brother. And Stan Lee, I quote, when he saw Why that Loki was... Hands? Listen! Because we're all inclusive. <laughs> Stan Lee okay. was quoted to say when he heard that Loki was actually drawn ginger, he went, great, Scott! And he said, nah, fuck that kid. We need to make him more appealing. So they gave him black hair. That was fact number one. You yeah. still haven't answered. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ginger side, even back then. Yep. What? Copyright free game music brought to you by YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Number two is. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so I decided it was getting a bit of a clusterfuck on this screen, so I decided to reset them all back to normal. Fact number two. His father is actually his mother! Oh my god. So, God knows what it must have been like when he saw his dad in the shower and it was his fucking mum. What's she doing with that loofah? Oh, mate, if only it was a loofah. Anyway, That's so fact quite number funny, two... Actually. That's quite funny because Idris Elba is also in four and he played Luther. There you go. <laughs> the, facts are, the facts are coming together like we planned. So, number two, his father is actually his mother. That's imagine, with that. imagine being someone who's only listening like and not looking at the screen. Like, uh, imagine well, looking at the not. screen and not listening. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, as long as I get my bit over and done with, I'm happy. <laughs> Fact number three. Uh, what is that? <laughs> Reset the screen. Thank you. Uh, oh, yeah. That also explains why Loki was a woman at some point. Because his mother and father were one. So that's why we've got this little picture. I decided to zoom in for comical effect nice. and no one laughed. <laughs> it's all adding up. It's I get all it. adding up. Okay. That was a great fact, I know. Fact number four. <laughs> Reset the screen. Yep, you did it. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, okay. Fact number four. This is something... Actually, no, this is fact number five because four <laughs> and three were the same and four and three make seven... Which is the name of a film with Brad Pitt in it. And some black guy. Number four. No, wait, number five. <laughs> Something Stanley. me and Loki has in common is that Loki can't swim. So not only was he a ginger that was unloved by Stanley yeah. and all who knew him, he also could swim. And Fat Four was like, yeah, you dickhead. I may be fat, but you can't swim. And that's it. That's basically <laughs> it. <laughs> Five facts with Jimbo, or who was the actual? Who was the? Who was the cook, and who was the five guys doing a porno? Who knows? What? <laughs> <laughs> Fact number five. What? I'm I'm very hot in this shit. I'm with the end. I'm with the end. What was that last bit? <laughs> um, that's all, folks. <laughs> were you were you, you on the phone? Did I have to watch the replay? Yeah. My mind was still stuck on the uh, image behind the shower curtain, and I'm still trying to figure it out. What, this one? For Piper as well, so in case you missed it. Piper, this one's just for you. Fact number three or four, who knows, I won't count in, was... Oh, yeah, I need to share my screen in the fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Piper, you better be listening, otherwise this was a waste of my time. <laughs> Fact number three, uh, Loki's... Mother was also his dad. That's why he's got a massive dick. Makes sense. Did his mother have a massive dick? Yeah, thank you for playing Six Guys. Who is the husband? I have a couple of questions. Fire away. We don't have a question segment, but whatever. <laughs> first of all, yep. doesn't Willie really always go first with his long box? I just wanted to, because I'm above him on this one. Okay. And I didn't know if this was going to be a hit or not, so I decided to get it over with. 
<laughs> and, and the second one, why was it what six? What, what was it called? <laughs> oh, you mean the title of the show, Jan, my old mate? Yes, please. Here yeah. we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, share that. Uh, well, all game shows need a title screen. Yeah. Who so this is, is the, the Loki edition. Yeah, yeah. Who could argue with that? <laughs> Five, six, six guys, one husband. Who is the husband? The, the, the mother. Oh, How did I do this? And the father. And the fuck? What? Scully, Mulder. I was drugged. It's a, it, it's a bloody gangbang cook joke. <laughs> I was taking the piss out of these Jubilee videos, like one guy, one virgin. Who's the uh, real? Who's the real serial killer? You know. Well, <laughs> all I, there's so many penises in this stream today that all I can say is they're taking away our balls. Exactly. Any more questions? No, that was magnificent. That picture summed it all up. So many questions. Right. Now we've we've played husband and wife. Now we're gonna play with some woolies and his long box. Right. So there's Bingo. too many penis jokes tonight. And they're all me. You right. started it. I know. Yeah. Woolly, let's tug at your long box. <laughs> yeah, okay, if you insist. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to follow that. Eh? As, as like, uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to talk about comics. Don't, don't worry, not much. Uh, I, I realised I hadn't actually read any comics with Loki in about that twenty too years. Late to pull out now, you know. So, uh, hey. so, uh, hey. so, so I started reading some of the more recent Loki comics, and they were all shit. So I went back to the Golden Age and the Silver Age, uh, and the Bronze Age. <laughs> so it's well, he's top five Loki stories. Excluding ones that are actually nice. just Loki stories. Because let's face it, he's a bad guy and he works better as a bad guy. He works better mm -hmm. when he's got like uh, heroes to kind of like uh, manipulate and be mischievous with. So I'm going to start with an honourable mention. Uh, I, I don't know if he was ginger in this or not, but uh, he kind of was. He was, yep, you're right there. Yeah, that was a top cool. fact. <laughs> he was ginger in his first appearance in Marvel Comics, or it was Timely Comics. And he was created by Stan Lee. And he appeared in a couple of issues of Venus, you know, the goddess Venus, and he was her like a arch nemesis in that. Uh, but I've got a page from both of his appearances here on issue five and twelve. And issue twelve is an interesting one because Venus is in danger, and Loki sends his brother Thor down to help her out because he kind of you know he wants to help her out, and it involves gladiators riding on lions. And I figured that's good enough for. An inclusion as an honourable mention. So the original Loki was this uh, ginger bloke with uh, a Flash Gordon outfit and no pants. They wanted to make him uh, like uh, disgusting, so they they had to give him red hair, though, didn't they? Yeah, like evil. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's got to do with fire, wasn't it? Because he's got the he's got the, the flames. He's a god of evil in that. He's not he's not like the the Lord of Lies or uh, mischief. He's just. Good old god of evil. Yeah, Ginger. Yeah, I suppose, does it. Anyway, that's honourable mention. Uh, it's a golden age. You can read that. You can find it on any of these websites. I've got all the uh, golden age comics up there. You can probably find that and give it a wee looky. Lucky, did not oh, hey, hey, I know. Hey. I hey. uh, in at number five, there's Guardian Wars. It's the <laughs> X-Men, Alpha Flight, and uh, the New Mutants. And uh, it's... it's, it's Kind of, I've got this one in here more for the artwork in Eden, because uh, it's Paul Smith and Art Adams that did the artwork over the issues that it was in, and especially the, the Art Adams ones is really, really nice. It's really worth kind of searching out just for the the actual artwork alone. It's typical kind of Claremont X Men. It's it's overwritten and it's convoluted, and uh, for some reason. Uh, Cyclops is a complete dick all the way through, and also incredibly stupid, uh, which was kind of odd. Uh, he doesn't because he's, he's got his uh, his daughter from the future is there. He seems to be the only person that doesn't realise it's his daughter, even though she's got the same surname as him, and she's ginger. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, it's, it's, as I read, it's interesting because it's, it's essentially Lost Horizon, the old kind of movie Lost Horizon, uh, done with the X Men and the Alpha Flight, and they're given their their perfect sort of like here's yeah. Uh, 
what you've always wanted, you know, your perfect kind of dream come true is Loki trying to do good in order to get in, in with the gods. Uh, and of course, it all goes tits up and ends up with fighting like giants and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's, 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 kind of, it's, yeah, it's for the art more than anything. But if you're into the X Men and Alpha Flight, it's definitely worth having a look at. And that's my number five. Anybody read it or had a look at that? No, no, it looks good. No. Uh, worth, it, worth it for the yeah. artwork. I quite like Alpha Flight in it. They're uh, a bit shit, and I like that. Yeah, well, they were good when John Byrne did them, like the first couple of years of the run. It's like anything, the original creator. Uh, it's good stuff, and then everybody else comes on, it doesn't quite get them. Yeah, and make a mental note. Get Mark the shittiest Christmas present in the world, because he'll love it. Okay. Well, he says he likes shit things. So, you know. Subscription to Disney. There we go. <laughs> Again, yeah. Uh, yeah love that. <laughs> we did uh, that Secret Santa thing last year, and we'll do that again this year. Yeah, I think that was fun. <laughs> so, um, hey, number four, I've put in Johnny at the Mystery 85, and this is the first appearance of the actual Marvel Loki, and he's pretty much fully formed from the start. And uh, it's, it works. You've got this kind of like dynamic between the two brothers, and this is the Loki that we kind of know and love. It pretty much fully formed from the first issue that he's in. Uh, looking a wee bit like Martin Landau, I think, for, you know, Mission Impossible. But, yeah, so that this is in here more for historical kind of reasons more than anything. It's, it's a perfect kind of like Silver Age um, introduction for the character. Can I just interrupt a second to say, I shut up for Charlie's stream. Yay. Hey, Fanny, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in ages. Really welcome and thank you so much for tuning in. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah. Number three, again, for historical reasons and also because it really is quite influential, it's the first issue of the Avengers and it's Loki in this comic is responsible for bringing the Avengers together. And that's the, the kind of one thing in the MCU that they've got that actually mirrors what they did in the comics. Mm -hmm. And he did it by manipulating the Hulk uh, because the Hulk is actually good at heart. Uh, so he makes him think that he's doing good by stopping a uh, train line from blowing up, but it's, it's just an illusion. And to everybody watching, on it looks like he's destroying it. And this brings the Avengers together as they come out to actually um, kind of take on the Hulk. Uh, so uh, at the end of it all, you've got the Avengers formed, and that's Loki that's done that. He's responsible for that. And it's, it's another good, kind of like solid Silver Age read uh, yeah. from Marvel. Um, a um, bit kind of hokey by today's standards, but fun. That's like uh, pre Captain America Avengers as well, and it that's like the original lineup. Right? Yeah, the first three issues, they, they basically just threw all their characters together that they had, and by issue four they could have brought back Captain America, and that's where it starts to become the proper Avengers story. And uh, in fact, the first three issues are more like the Defenders. It's a bunch of people that don't quite gel. And kind of, you know, they're like, "Hey, but let's get together." But it doesn't really work until they bring in Captain America, and then when they get rid of all the the old ones and bring in uh, Wanda uh, and Pietro and uh, Hawkeye, I think that's when the Avengers actually really yeah. starts to work. Yeah. Funnily enough, but yeah, but that's not Loki, so we'll leave that for the Avengers show. The Thor Frog Saga, right? Uh, oh, wow, look at that! Amazing. This was almost number one. That, uh, it's Walt mm. Simonson's run. I think somebody already mentioned, uh, it may have been Fatty in the, the chat, uh, Walt Simonson's run, which is great. If nobody's read it, this is a great run of Thor. And the, the whole idea that humour was brought in by uh, Thor Ragnarok is bollocks. Uh, there's been loads of it in Thor throughout the years, and especially throughout the Simonson run, where, which is a lot of fun. Where we can like, just uh, play with expectations and taking it down completely different routes. And this was a three-issue kind of run where Thor is turned into a frog by Loki. Uh, and for an entire issue, Thor as a frog he galvanizes the frogs together to fight against the evil rats. <laughs> uh, and then eventually comes across the crocodiles or the alligators in the sewers and uses them to defeat the rats. Spoiler. Uh, it's, it's even got a Pied Piper type character in it. It's mental, but it's so much fun and it really does feel like a a Norse mythology type story been told in a Marvel comic because that's a kid, mm. kid Loki in the comics uh, himself was a shape uh, and Norse mythology himself was a shapeshifter so he'd been a horse he'd been a, he'd been a woman he'd been whatever um, 
the horse one's really weird. Do I go there? Uh, but this is a great wee story. It's three issues. It, the entire run's good. But what's great about this is it's just Loki being being Loki, just manipulative and and every kind of turn where things are going against him. He's, he tries to talk his way out of it. He tries to twist things in in his own favour. Uh, and it's it's just a really fun comic. Uh, I, and you don't... I I've seen this uh, Throg character before or whatever. Um, but I'm only just now noticing this cover on the right. It says, it's "What great. do you call a six foot six fighting man frog?" And that blows my mind because I had assumed that he was just regular frog size. And well, he is, but when he manages to lift the hammer, he becomes Frog Thor, and he's full sized. Uh, um, so I'm gonna, uh, definitely going to have to read this. It's, it's, it's really yeah. good. It's a fantastic new run. And I, think, I don't know at the time, I'm guessing there's a lot of fans that were kind of like, what? This is just ridiculous. But uh, Oh, they've race swapped four into a frog. Yeah, he's a frog. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's never <laughs> been green. <laughs> That's but a great yeah, camera on that. Yeah, it's I love not that easy camera green. on the right. Mm. It's brilliant. I think, we, I, I'm trying to remember, I think when you open that up, uh, the name of that issue is the name of that story and that issue is sir so it's like what do you call a six foot six <laughs> fight you know uh, fighting bulldog frog you open up sir in big letters <laughs> inside uh, so uh, yes yeah, fantastic that's a fantastic nice. run uh, and i think brings us to number one uh, so again it's not a, like a single loki story i, I, I read some of a, a recent loki story where he was manipulating uh, politics and he was running for political office it's oh, bloody yeah. awful Bloody, bloody awful. And I wouldn't recommend it to anybody unless I really hated that person. So I didn't Adam's, even in the, Adam's in the chat has said, I just don't think a frog hmm. hero is going to take off. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I couldn't kind of see it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so my number one is uh, the Avengers Defenders War. Uh, again, Bronze Age, my favourite kind of like comics were for the Bronze Age in the 70s. And, and this is a this is really a, a very influential run of comics. Steve Englehart uh, was writing both the Avengers and the Defenders, and he went to Roy Thomas and he said, I've got an idea of running a storyline across both issues, you know, sort of like a big kind of like epic storyline. Uh, so they'll read Avengers and then they'll read Defenders back to Avengers. And he was like, are you mad? That'll never work. Uh, and then he, he kind of talked them into it. And so this is the first time we've really had a, a crossover between different comics. And it's a big kind of like, you know, everybody comes together and fights type thing. Uh, so it, it was before Secret Wars and all that kind of stuff. And it's much better than all that kind of stuff too. Um, it's very reminiscent of the old kind of like Justice League, Justice Society things as well, where people would pair off into pairs and have their own little kind of bit of the comic. And, and it's, it's all based around our mom, you trying to get... Uh, and, basically take over everything and, and he enlists a blind Loki to help him out and Loki being Loki th uh, thinks about himself and thinks you know if Dormammu is going to take over Midgard or whatever maybe you know everywhere else is next so he tricks the Avengers and the Defenders into fighting each other to actually try and kind of like stop Dormammu and uh, it just you just end up with well, it's like Thor versus the Hulk, Hawkeye versus Iron Man that kind of stuff and and Captain America versus Submariner. So he's just he's good kind of like vignettes where they're all fighting the vision versus the silver surfer. Uh, and it's a fun story and it's it's a lot of fun. So that's why it's my my number one. It's just pure comics and Loki is just pure mischievous and he'll try and even when he gets try to do something that you think is good and getting the Avengers in so that Dormammu fails, he still does it in such a devious way that everybody's in danger. Uh, so yeah, it's, this is a good one, and you, it's been reprinted lots of times, and it's, it's worth giving a read. Mm. And that's it. That's my top five Loki stories. None of them actual Loki <laughs> comics. Yeah. yeah, that is totally fine, Woolly. Well done, and thank you. Hey, hey, hey! Thank you very much, Fabian Maestro. Uh, Chicken and dumplings. Just quickly, just to remind everybody that you know, no, no comic book about a frog ever did any did very well. Just you know, I only made a million. Fucking just, try harder next time. I know, right? Just hashtag just saying. Um, <laughs> right, let's have a look now at how put Trump that next to hashtag reach around like on your tweets <laughs> <about> <laughs> the show. 
Yes, she doesn't use that there, does she? Maybe swiftly. I think on. this is pretty much um, done. Nice. Like that, that is amazing, yeah. Bob. Bravo. I was going to say, I, I noticed that you've also opted for the blind Loki. Which is... that, that, uh, what was the snake if, venom? That's a perfect Loki if uh, Tommy Cooper had played Loki. <laughs> <laughs> now then, now then. What's that on his, is that on his lap? That's not his catchphrase. What, what's on his lap there, Chubb? That's that his not lap? his lap. What that's his <laughs> folder, you weirdo. Yeah, that, that's a pauldron. A what? A what? That's yeah, a get, LARPing term. You know, get your glasses on, Yen. He's the player of his shoulder. Yeah, what's that's the shoulder, you? bro. It's oh. like shoulder armor. Uh, no, it's I can't unsee really it. It's like, it's like, what the hell? Yeah, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> it looks like he's got it's his chest. And uh, his nipples should be around there somewhere. And uh, yeah, so look, it's quite that has got it. Yeah. Dread over the shoulder pose. Ah. Go and stand in the corner. Because I was seeing it from an angle. <laughs> Help us, <Good>. step five. <laughs> Turn your bloody camera off. Oh, uh, no, it's fantastic. Nice job. We love it's all great. the Chubb's work. It's absolutely hey, fantastic. Hey, hey, hey. 100%. Thank right. you. I've never read this character. So yeah, don't really have any connection to it. So no. but he was always just the. He has the no bad. connection to Thor either when he was first made. No, he wasn't. But he was just the bad. He wasn't he like re and so I can't quite understand why he's got his own series and everything. Because mm. he's great. That's why. Like and of course we've seen this trend in Hollywood recently where they're trying to just make stuff out of villains. Like, uh, we've used all the heroes. Let's just uh, make villains next. Like, uh, that's a thing. Yeah. And Cruella de Vil's the most recent yeah. example. Well, no, Loki's the most recent example. That's today. Uh, Jabba just owned you, by the way. He hasn't had a chance to say that for a couple of weeks since being in prison or whatever. Yeah, I know. So... He got in, he got he was put in prison for reaching around. That's what oh, it was. Jeez. <laughs> he he was frozen in carbonite, actually. At the wrong way round. He was frozen in <laughs> He was frozen in carbonite and proper low key thawed out. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Um I think that's uh, we're coming up to poem time, aren't we? Because Mark, you, did you uh, did you say you did, you wasn't doing anything tonight? Yeah, I haven't got a bit like uh, I've got to reinstall everything on my new computer and out, so I don't have like the uh, materials to do it. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. And Mark <laughs> does have a bit, which brings me nicely to this one. <laughs> every erection in every direction. Exactly. Yeah. Um, he had to take a back break from your annoying voice, apparently. Oh. <laughs> I said, well, do you know what? He insulted me when I was I was watching a stream earlier, and I just said, with him, because when he's nasty to you, it's like Stockholm Syndrome. You just feel loved. Considering yeah. Jan's barely spoken, that is quite an insult. Yes, exactly. Uh, well, what can I say? Moving on. Moving on to poem time. <laughs> Oh, Pepe. no, it's Pepe's time. What am I trying to erase? That's why Jabba's here for Pepe. I'm trying to erase the people. I'm yeah, so sorry. This is Jabba's favourite part of the show. This is. Yeah, that's why he's here. Have you got your bit to share, Pete? Uh, sorry, yeah, I was. Uh, I, I forgot that I was going to be next. I'm just getting it. Um, I've got it. Problem. I've got it. I've got it. Don't worry. Yeah, there we go then. Lucky. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, it, it is working, right? I can't yeah. see what I'm on yeah. the other screen. We can see yeah. it. Yeah. All right, let's get this shit over with. Uh, here we go. <laughs> so, first step, uh, we got uh, get lucky, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Get lucky. Uh, is this like, is this that, that song? I came all night to get lucky. Again, yeah, you like probably just yeah. ruined his next joke. <laughs> 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 you did. No, no, no. Well, a goldie locky and a three bears. No, anyone? Yeah. All right then. Yeah. Uh, lucky stock and two smoking barrels. 
<laughs> but this is this is my favorite one. Uh, uh, don't lock you now. <laughs> no, right then. So anyway, uh, I made a, a, a quiz. So here we go. Oh. What is Lockie's second name? Four. Kate. Um, uh, isn't it Odin? Something like that? Odinson? Odin's Anyone else? second name, so is this third name. Lockie Key. There you go. Lock and a key. Okay. Lockie Key. No, the answer That's is who gives a fuck. Sorry, uh, sorry about that. Should have guessed that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. In what film did Tom Hiddleston first play Loki? Loki. Um, that was. Uh, it was. Avengers? It was uh, Avengers Assemble, wasn't it? No, it's the correct answer is the first Thor movie, but I oh, suspect no I know what that. the answer is. Planet of the Apes. It's not where I have, Willie, but it's a good guess. Uh, thanks. <laughs> What's the answer then, Pete? The, the answer is Tom Hiddleston looks like he's not allowed <laughs> around schools or playgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, obviously, oh. right? <clears throat> Don't he look weird so, there? Yeah, 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 he does. And he's a ginger. ginger. He's he changed his hair as well. Ginger. Yeah, as if, we, as if Lockie wasn't bad enough. Actual ginger, right? Uh, <laughs> so here he is, right? Yeah. Uh, I think it, uh, he went to like Eton and uh, Cambridge, um, yeah. and he was in school with this prick and whoever this guy is. Sometimes all, a girl. Like, all super posh, kind of. Uh, you know what I mean? Oh, I love yeah, so. that. I love that. Posh yeah. I lo I posh guys. He got stalking over his head. Quite the, the, yeah, yeah, shagging, yeah. shagging pigs' heads and things. No, it does. Exactly. Just got stopped. Maybe, maybe on the weekend. It, it is, and uh, as you can, you could probably tell, it's all starting to add up. Uh, this was his, uh, <laughs> one of his early, early films, uh, Conspiracy, right? Uh, he was also in, uh, did the voice for Charles Dar Darwin in uh, Galapagos. Uh, yeah, of course, Charles Darwin, uh, uh, the eugenics, right? Oh, God. Same thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, no, 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 it's all there. Uh, of course, he was in uh, The Muppets. We all remember, right? Uh, everyone was yeah. taking notes on The Muppets. Oh, uh, yeah. Movies, so we see Classic. the connections with the, the Muppets, which, of course, Frank Oz. Let's not yeah, go there. Yeah. Don't get me started on him <laughs> again. Which brings us to all the uh, crazy uh, Hollywood types and uh, the crazy goings on in Bohemian Grove, right? And the... Of course, here he is, <laughs> back as uh, Harvey Weinstein with with the uh, what's his name Benedict Cumberbatch. Do you ever know, notice that yeah. they all have these weird names? No, no, his name is Bend Your Dick and Come On My Baps. That's his great name. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations and for the on. hundredth dip <laughs> joke this evening. <laughs> I would like to disassociate myself with the rest of this <laughs> cast. That's my <laughs> listen. Those two are my perfect dream away from Yan. Um, <laughs> I love, I've got a real thing about Posh Totty. I like right, even, Posh even with the name Benedict Cumberbatch, like Cumberbatch, Cumberbatch, whatever his name is, same kind Bendy of Dick Cumbersnatch. Name. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But he's, he's nice thing he's filming, right now he's doing the Essex Serpent. Uh, you know this uh, sex serpent um serpents like these kind of guys you see it's all starting to come together now isn't it yeah. as we talked yeah. last oh, yeah. week about the yeah the pre-programmer if you're keeping up with this you'll see all this is happening recently as well yeah. and uh yeah so it's all part of this confessed conspiracy there um so for that reason i, I don't really feel so bad uh about what i'm <laughs> about to say uh, uh, a Lockie TV show is the only show Kevin Smith cried before watching. <laughs> but, uh, I, I haven't seen a punier looking character since Mark cried into his soy latte while watching Brokeback Mountain. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, Tom Hiddleston, more like Tom Diddleston. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Lockie can put, turn people into negatives 
uh, absorbing their life force. Uh, this is to compensate for him being ginger in the comic and real life. Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> Tom's acting is so bad he was upstaged by a goose in Warhol. <laughs> <laughs> you leave War Goose alone. Uh, we love uh, War Goose. Uh, Tom got his part as Loki by ramming his silver tongue up oh. Kenneth Branagh's arse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he, he's only got a silver tongue as a silver spoon is so shoved so far up his ass, he uses it to clean the inside of his teeth. Right on. So I'll make him quicker. Lockie's costume is so shit, the cast of Batman Forever got Bell's palsy after cringing so hard. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, Lockie turned. Uh, Thor into a frog once. He only did this so he could kiss it like a Disney film. Uh, Alex Jones is like, <laughs> turn in a frog's gate. Right now, uh, uh, oh, God, it's no surprise that Loki is the Prince of Asgard. <laughs> <laughs> right uh, Loki is so shit they had to hire Tom uh, Hiddleston to play the part. Uh, anyway, I was up all night to get lucky. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Savage. Well done. Well done, people. Hey, you. Oh, hey. Well I'm done, Brian. Um, <laughs> right, so before we do before we do Yan's poem, I said earlier in the stream I had two Tom Hiddleston stories. So... Uh, the first one is um, many, many years ago for my 25th birthday, my mum got me tickets to see uh, a fellow at the Donmar in the West End because um, it had Ewan McGregor in it. Uh, and I used to have the raging hots for Ewan McGregor, but he's a sweat ass cuck now and I don't like him anymore. But um, essentially, I went and saw this production and I was able to meet him. But as, be as I was waiting to meet him, um, I was sitting in the bar with my mum and this I was holding my programme to the show and this random guy comes up and goes, oh, are you? would you like me to sign that? And I went, yeah, if you want. Like li Literally, that was my reaction, yeah, if you want. And uh, didn't think nothing of it, just he signed it and I then I was waiting for you, McGregor. And then it wasn't until years later when my best friend, she really fancies Tom Hiddleston. We were talking about it. She went, oh, I've just been looking on his IMDB or, or Wikipedia or whatever. He was in that production of a fellow you went and saw. And when I've opened up the book um, to the middle page where I had people sign it, there was his signature. I, the guy that came up to me and asked if I wanted his autograph was Tom Hiddleston, um, <laughs> which was really funny. And then the other time, I've actually, I did actually meet him and Benedict Cumberbatch, both in First World War uniform, which is why I think this. This I thought you were going to say in uh, Harvey Weinstein's party. Because I was, uh, <laughs> no. Because I was an extra on Warhorse, so I met them both while I was I was doing that. that more, we all more like importantly, Warhorse. more importantly, did you meet War Goose? Yeah, yeah. I didn't meet the War Goose. No, that's, oh, that's the only person we, the main character in Warhorse. Uh, that is very that is very true. But um, yeah, so that's my two Tom Hiddleston stories. Of course, my best mate was very pissed off at me and didn't talk to me for like a day. Because uh, she was like, oh my god, you've got to meet Tom Hiddleston. So yeah, that was a war horse. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you got you got to cold shoulder Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> Lucky. I, yeah, it wasn't. It it it, it was all right. It was, yeah, they they were in first world war uniform. I just saw them on top. I saw them on horses. That was about the the thing. Really. <laughs> Were you just about to say you saw him on Top Gear? No, I saw him on Top Gear. Top Gear. Top Gear. Top Gear. Top Gear. Can he go faster than one horsepower? All I'm going to say is Yan thinks I'm a bit of a nag, but I would have given them a ride. So there we go. Moving on. Oh, jeez. If you put 10 horses together, you get 10 horsepower. You do know that in North mythology, Loki at one point was this a was, was a horse, and he uh, was he was uh, mounted by a stallion. Nice. So yeah, there, there's a nice for you. To, gave birth to Sleipnir. Yep, is, who I believe had eight legs. Yeah. Is this? Yeah, is right. this? Are we now talking about horse mythology? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jabba's got your beat. <laughs> 
I'm at Barry from EastEnders beating that you track. I think that Jabba is Barry from EastEnders. <laughs> I thought he was yeah. Ian Bill. <laughs> uh, right. Poem time. Bada boom. Oh, no. Yay. The found poem from the show, what people have said in the, on the show and in the chat about oh, those been... oh, yeah. Good point. I'm is he wrapping this? Awesome. This, this is next level. <laughs> it's, 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 well, I could almost possibly do it. You want me to do no. what we to beatbox? No, I don't want you to beatbox. No, box. please. Waka, waka, waka. <laughs> what, that, what are you? Somebody from the market? Waka, waka, waka. <laughs> Mama, oh, mama. Look, we don't want to know about your bloody kinky games. Do that after. <laughs> Let's wrap this Neither up. of my way in clothes. That's where the camera's off. Mine are off because my tits are out. <laughs> the Loki poem, found poem. Let's do this. Some of us have seen it. He's my pick for the bond. The mailing list is back up. It's a little bit of something for everyone. There used to be 16 of us. I can't work in these conditions. So long story short, the PC works now. <laughs> Jabba counts as free. I forgot to Photoshop <laughs> that bit. His father is actually his mother, the goddess Venus. It's Paul Adams. Four, four, six foot six inches in lists of blind low key. He was encased in carbonite. I don't have a bit. Lock key stock and two smoking barrels. Conspiracy theory is Charles Darwin pre programmed a goose in war horse up all night to get lucky. Good night. Enough! You are all of you beneath me. I am a god, you dull creature! <laughs> <laughs>